joined here by Ryan uh, with William Joseph Communications, and we're talking about something really important. Businesses pay attention, reputation versus branding, and you want to talk about thriving rather than surviving. What do you mean by that, Ryan? Right. Well, your reputation is key. So a lot of times what businesses will do is they will focus on their past and their customer experience. So your reputation is kind of like your relationship resume of how you've interacted with people. And when we all know that when we want to buy something, we ask our friends and colleagues, like, who do you use? And so your reputation is key. Now, it works well, assuming that people have used your services in the past, but that's, that's not all that you need to uh, have have a really thriving business. To have a thriving business, you have to ensure that your brand is on point as well as uh, your reputation. And a lot of companies, they speak of their reputations and their expertise, but you're saying you have to make sure you have a strong brand as well. So first, let's touch on what exactly is a reputation in this context. Right, so reputation is, let's that's a bit of looking back. So that's your experiences that customers have had with your company, um, the quality of your service and your products, and it's really the interaction with your, your clients and your customers, right? So your reputation is key. It gives you the credibility that you need. Um, but again, it's only one part of the equation. Okay, let's talk about the other part of this equation, and that's branding. And you say this is vital. Oh, branding is very vital. So what branding does is um, a brand is your story. So the one thing that you really want to focus on is all aspects of a brand. It's much more than just a logo, right? A brand is your whole corporate personality and story. So it touches everything from corporate culture to logos to store design to the way you interact and behave with your customers. Uh, yeah, the, the end goal of branding, of course, is loyalty. I like that loyalty. It makes me think of when I pass certain companies and I even know the smell yeah, of for the sure. store. Branding. And, and let's touch on eight ways strong brands build a better bottom lines. We've got a list here. So we'll touch on this list here. But number one here, it increases uh, referrals and loyalty. Well, absolutely. Like the one thing that we hear all the time in our industry is like, why should we spend money on branding? You know, we have a great reputation. Why spend the money? And I think what's really important is, especially to the CFOs, is that you have to show the value of investing in your brand. And these eight points are really key on that. Um, you do want to have loyal followers. It's so much easier to keep existing customers than try to get new ones. So when they are loyal to your brand, not only to your people, it keeps them coming back. I know I don't like change. I stick to the companies I love. And number two here, increase barriers to entry. What does that mean? Yeah, so when you have a very strong, um, prevalent brand in the marketplace, what that does is it, it keeps your customers loyal. So if somebody else tries to break into your marketplace, it's not just so easy to come in and take your customers. They already are loyal. Yeah, why would they switch on over if it's what they like? Uh, yeah. Number three, command a price premium and higher margins. Yeah, absolutely. So when your brand is well known, people are willing to pay a little bit more for that reassurance of that quality and those attributes that that brand stands for. And we've got a long list here, of course. We'll touch on just a couple more. Sure. Um, tell me about the increased confidence during the decision-making process. Okay, <clears throat> so if you're going to go and purchase a product and you know this name and you've never seen this name, you're more likely to go to the name you've known because you've either um, seen ads or different uh, commercials on the t on the product or you've purchased it before right so you're, you have a relationship with that brand it's like those products that you don't know it's a tissue it's Kleenex right I just call it that it's yes. really cool I like that and of course uh, you know companies there's a survey here really interesting you were saying they command a price premium if they're well branded yeah absolutely like there's different surveys that are out there one survey that we were um, a report that we were just reading showed that uh, companies that invest in their brand had a 14% higher margins than other companies that didn't. So really, there's so many benefits of investing in your brand um, to properly articulate your story to your customers. Your brand differentiates yourself from your competitors. And your reputation is absolutely critical, but clearly understand that your reputation is a part of the equation and your brand is another aspect of it. Do you recommend using a communications company to help develop this, Ryan? Well, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Um, we have information about this on our website at williamjoseph.com and that's what we do all the time is work with uh, building brands and helping clients develop uh, stellar reputations. Exactly and get that loyalty and last but not least you say you know delivering quality and having reputation it's not not quite enough. No absolutely like again it is it's the core it should be a core essence of what you do every day but your brand is really the outside face of your company it articulates your position in the market and your personality. Okay well thank you for taking time this morning to join us today Ryan. Thank you so much. That's Ryan from William Joseph Communications joining us to talk about branding and reputation.